Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Media. In this video, we will talk about the differences between local administrator account and the domain administrator account. So previously, we installed VirtualBox and created two virtual machines. One of them, client operating system installed Windows 10, and the other one, server operating system installed server 2019. And on a server 2019 virtual machine already, it's promoted to be a domain controller. And in the previous videos, we talked about how we can join one computer to a domain controller. We did already set the static IP address and creating the internal networking between them. So here we can see already both of the virtual machines up and running. Let's go ahead, take a look on Windows 10, CMD, and we can see host name, our PC1, IP config using static IP address 192.168.1.10 and if you go to server virtual machine cmd host name and IP config 192.168.19 okay let's see who we logged in as here who am I so we logged in using domain administrator account already and here who am I of course this is already domain controller and using the domain administrator account logged in okay so if we go to the client operating system here, let me close all these windows, minimize. So this is our Windows 10. Okay, and now let's go ahead and sign out from domain admin. Let's log in using local account. So PC1 backslash paymon, and then let's type the password. Okay, now let's say if we want to manage local user account, lusrmgr.msc to open up local users and groups. By default, every time when we are installing any client operating systems, like uh, let's say Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, it will create standard user account uh, during the installation and by default the administrator account and the guest account disabled. Let's enable the local administrator account. We can right click properties, account is not disabled, apply. So first we have to set the password, let's click OK and then cancel, let's right click, set password, proceed. OK and now let's right click properties and clear where it says account is disabled, apply, okay. All right, now our local administrator account is enabled. Let's close and let's sign out. Login using local administrator account. So we can say other user, PC1 backslash administrator. And it's the first time logging in using as local administrator account. So we'll see all the messages. Hi, we are getting everything ready for you because it's basically creating the user profile, which is a folder containing all the pictures, music, documents for that specific user account. In this case, the administrator account. This is internal network communications. So all these uh, configurations doesn't really matter. Um, if it's on or off, then we can go to the settings, of privacy configurations, all that, make the changes. Okay, now let's go ahead and open command prompt. Host name to see the computer name. PC1, that's a computer name, who we logged in as. PC1 backslash administrator. So we know this administrator account is a local administrator account. Now let's go ahead and sign out. If we click start, sign out and let's go ahead log back in using other and I'm gonna go ahead type administrator and as soon as I type R I want to pay attention here you see how it changes to PC1 it's assuming you want to log in using local administrator account but we want to use domain administrator account so we can simply emphasize it by simply using the UPN address add sign and typing the domain name and then the password or simply we can type paymonttechmedia backslash administrator that works too 
or administrator at pemotechmedia.com and typing the password. Okay. Now this is an example of using domain administrator account. If I open up command prompt and again to double check host name is PC1, right? Who am I? Payment Tech Media backslash administrator. So previously we could see PC1 backslash administrator, right? PC1 that's a host name, computer name. So anytime when we see computer name backslash administrator, that's a local administrator account. We have the right full power of the local PC, the scope of the local computer. In this case, this virtual machine computer. But if we log in using as domain, this is a domain name backslash administrator, we have privilege or the administrator rights of the entire domain, the scope of the entire domain, basically. So it's two different things when we talk about these administrator accounts. Local administrator account is completely different than domain administrator account. And here we can see how we can log in using local administrator account or logging domain administrator account. Well, this was quick overview of local admin account versus domain admin account and how we can log in using local admin or domain admin. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. And to see more tech videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again and have a good day.